probably shouldn't be doing this video for you guys. Me giving you this information is kind of like it's going to kill my channel right now. But that's okay because I still love you guys and I want to help you as much as I can. So I'm going to give it to you anyway. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. What's up, icons? It's the iconic fashion figure. When I heard about Chat GPT, of course I had to try it out. I'm all into AI right now and using technology any way that I can to operate my business takes a load off of my shoulders, gives me a lot more time to just live my life instead of spending so much time running a business. I have multiple businesses, so I need all the help I can get. And if I can use technology, I'm definitely going to. And there's so many different ways that you can use chat GPT to run your business. And I'm gonna show you guys at least 12 of them in this video alone. So let's start with this first one. You guys know I'm the wholesale plug. You know I'll always give you guys wholesale vendors. I create these lists for you guys regularly, giving you all different type of wholesale vendors. But does chat GPT have me beat? when it comes to these wholesale vendors. They just might got me on this one, but let me show you guys because you can use ChatGPT to create free wholesale vendor lists for yourself. There's even some vendors on here that I wasn't even aware of yet that they have on their list. I started out by typing, where can I buy women's wholesale clothing? And then let's just wait for the results. So they're starting to type out some options. This wasn't what I was looking for. I was looking for more so a wholesale vendors list. I guess I wasn't specific enough, but it's basically letting me know I can go to wholesale marketplaces, fashion district, there's online wholesale retailers, trade shows. So it gave me generic information. So I quickly learned I need to be more specific with this. So then that's when I typed in a list of wholesale clothing vendors and let's see. And here we go, they're starting to give me more so wholesale vendors. These were, again, not exactly what I was looking for, but we're on the right track. It's actually listing out where you can buy wholesale at this time. So I'm trying it again. I meant a list of women's wholesale clothing vendors. I put A in there, but I meant of, but let me see what it gives me if I specify women's wholesale clothing. Okay, it started out with the marketplaces, but now it's giving me some other options here like Indigo Style Vintage, Olive and Pepper, Stella Ivy. It gave me some options here, so now we're definitely headed on the right track. So you might notice here that my list is a little different. That's because I used that Regenerate Response button. I somehow didn't record that part, but basically I clicked the Regenerate Response and it gave me more options. Now, at the beginning of the list is pretty much the same as the original list, but the last few at the end they have been switching up and giving me some other options so if you're going through those lists and it's not enough of what you're looking for you're noticing the vendors they're giving you is not exactly what you're looking for hitting that regenerate button will give you some different options and you can keep doing this and getting as many options as you need but that actually works as you can see chat gpt has created wholesale vendor list a lot of these i've already given to you but there's some on there that i have not given to you yet that you guys can now look into and see if it's one that you're interested in buying from. Now those lists were pretty short but as you can see I use that regenerate feature that will give you a couple different wholesale vendors on those lists so you can keep clicking that or maybe when you type in your description of what you need help with put in the number of vendors you would like for them to search for. So maybe just put in 50 wholesale vendors and see if it'll give you a list of 50. But let's move on to the next thing. I know another thing you guys usually come to me for help with chat GPT can help you with as well. I probably shouldn't be doing this video for you guys. Me giving you this information is kind of like it's going to kill my channel right now. But that's okay because I still love you guys and I want to help you as much as I can. So I'm going to give it to you anyway. So the next thing is figuring out how to register your business in your state. Now right on chat GPT you can just type in how to register a business in and then put whatever state you're in. I put a random state. I don't know Wisconsin was came to mind as I was typing it in. So that's what we're going to try. We're going to to type in chat GPT how to register a business in Wisconsin and let's see what it gives us. So in the send a message slot I'm going to type in how to register a business in and then you want to type in your state. For whatever reason Wisconsin was on my mind in this moment so that's what I typed in. So I'm waiting to see exactly what it's going to tell me to do. Is it going to give me all the steps or does chat GPT not know exactly how to register a business? But so far it looks like it's giving me some information like I can see the Department of Finance 
financial institutions on there. It's giving you the full steps of exactly how to register a business if you were anywhere, but at least it gave you the department that you need to reach out to to register your business. So basically, ChatGPT is letting, for those of you that are in Wisconsin know, to go to your Department of Financial Institutions and you can register your business there or find out all the information you need to know. Now, if you wanted to take it a step further, which I didn't, you could probably put in LLC in Wisconsin or DBA in Wisconsin, resale certificate in Wisconsin, whatever you need to know, put in those specifics. I've just been pretty much putting in generic descriptions to help you guys out, but be specific as you need to to get the information you need because it'll find it for you. Now, those are two of the top things that I typically help you guys with, registering your business, finding wholesale vendors. So as I said, ChatGPT just might put me out of business when it comes to my YouTube channel, but I have a feeling AI in general is going to start taking over a lot of jobs. But let's keep going with this because there's still so many more ways you can use ChatGPT to operate your business and start up a business. And the next thing we're going into is marketing ideas because a lot of you guys are always stuck on how to market your business, especially in those beginning stages. So one of the things I typically tell you guys all the time is to start marketing your business right away. Even before you even launch, you want to start building up that momentum to let people know that your brand is getting ready to launch and start building up that customer base before you even launch. Let's see if ChatGPT can give us some ideas of ways to market our business even before we even have the product to launch. Here I'm typing in marketing ideas for a startup clothing brand and I want to see what marketing ideas it gives you as a startup. So it's telling me influencer marketing, pop-up shop. So it's giving you generic ideas of how you can market your business. Again, this wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but I'm almost sure each time when it's not giving me what I'm looking for, it's because I'm not wording it right on what it exactly is I'm looking for. So I might need to change it up, but this information is still useful on different marketing tactics that you can use for your business overall. So that first scenario didn't play out exactly how I needed it to. It didn't really give me the idea ideas I was looking for. I mean, it gave me marketing ideas, which is definitely useful, but I wanted more of marketing ideas before we even have any product or product images. So that way you guys can start marketing your businesses today, even if you don't plan to launch for another six months or so. What kind of marketing can you do right now to start building up that customer base so you already have an audience that'll be ready to buy from you when you're ready to launch? Let me try rewording that description and see if they can give me something better. So I just reworded my descriptions to see if it can give me exactly what it is that I'm looking for. So this time I just typed in Instagram post ideas for a startup clothing brand that doesn't have photos of their clothing yet. And I want to see what exactly they're going to give me this time. Okay, behind the scenes shots of your team. Looks like ChatGPT is trying to think of this one. I must have stumped them on this one, but let's see what else it can give me. Sneak peeks of the fabric swatches, inspirational quotes or graphics, flat lace featuring accessory shoes and other items that will be available alongside your clothing, repost of customer photos featuring places from your clothing line, if you have that yet, fashion illustrations or sketches of upcoming designs, historical fashion photos, Q&A sessions with your team or designer. Oh, they're still going. Fashion tips and tricks, posts or tutorials related to styling, brand values or mission statements. And it's just making, telling you to make sure to keep your content engaging. This is exactly what I was looking for when I was trying to put in marketing ideas. Now that's what I was looking for to help you guys out with ideas and how to market your business before you even launch, before you have any products. And then of course, like chat, GPT told you once you have your product images you start incorporating those product images into your marketing now I don't know about you but I like to design my own stuff I'm actually testing out a new software that I cannot wait to show you guys because I'm obsessed with it but I'm still learning it so I'm not ready to show you yet but it's a new design software that I'm testing out in the meantime while I'm figuring out that design software it's a 3d design software that can also animate your designs love it but while while I'm learning that software, I want to see if ChatGPT can give me some design ideas that I can test out in that software. So let's see if ChatGPT can actually give me some
some design ideas, especially on those days where I'm not feeling creative, but I still need to design anyway. Let's try to keep it basic and type in women's mini dress design ideas and let's see what it gives me for that. Okay, A-line mini dress, off the shoulder mini dress. So it's giving me more of mini dress categories that I can design into. So it's not actually giving me like trend ideas or anything like that. But this is still a start to help give me an idea of what I want to decide. It took me further than just a mini dress. I think for design ideas, you more so need to see visual inspiration, but this does help. I'm going to try to be a little more specific this time and see what it does. So I'm putting in young woman's mini dress with an open back design ideas and let's see if it gives me anything more specific okay so it's giving me types of open back dress ideas so like a halter top would be open back you can do a lace-up back this actually does help get some creative juices flowing because as I'm thinking of a lace-up back mini dress it is giving me some ideas of what I can do so it does help and hopefully I can take these descriptions because they're even given descriptions of each category and put it into a text-to-image AI software and see what that gives me now of course chat GPT doesn't give you images there are some AI softwares out there that can take text to image which I can show you those AI softwares in another video if you guys want that so make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment down in the description box if you want to see those text to image AI softwares where we can take those same ideas that chat GPT just gave us for design ideas paste them over into the image software and see if it can create the sketches for us as well but chat GPT didn't do too bad with giving us some ideas ideas it at least kind of gets the creative juices flowing it might not have told you exactly what to design but it gave you some ideas of things that you can design and now that you have those designs created or at least a design idea one of the things that even I get stumped on at times is the product descriptions especially once I'm listing the item on my website I kind of go very generic which I'm actually doing website updates right now I'm trying to change my format of my product descriptions so this helped me out a lot and I actually have a product description video coming for you guys soon that will go more in depth but let's see what chat GPT can do when it comes to creating those product descriptions chat GPT did really good at giving descriptions of each of those mini dress categories so now I'm gonna type in product descriptions for a woman's little black mini dress with an open back and see what type of product description it gives me once I actually go in and design that dress that I can use on the website oh, I added in bodycon too to be a little more specific I'm trying to get better at being more specific with the message that I type in this dress features a sleek and figure hugging silhouette that accentuates your curves in the right places okay this is getting really descriptive and creating that picture in the head of the customer I love this now that was pretty impressive because they pretty much created an entire story for me on the product. Now I didn't put in too much information on the product that I wanted them to describe. I kept it generic. But you can put as much detail as you need to and have them create that description for you. Put the fabric content, the fit type, whatever you need to and have them create that product description for you because it literally created a whole story for you. Which you guys are going to learn more about in my upcoming video when I go more in depth on product description and giving you guys all the information that you need to include in your product descriptions and we'll talk more about using AI creating those product descriptions then as well but moving on to the next idea another topic I usually touch base on with a lot of you guys especially like my mentees I usually go through this with a lot of them and that's creating those contracts or agreements that you might need for example like brand ambassador and then those influencer agreements before you're sending out product to have them help market. I've heard a lot of you guys talking about how you have reached out to influencers and sent them product that they were supposed to market for you and you never seen a return on your investment because they never actually marketed the product for you. One of the things I usually check first is did you have an agreement with them? Did they sign off on anything before you sent them product? Majority of you say no. It was just like a verbal agreement or like you guys were DMing and they were saying I mean that is still somewhat of a written agreement but you didn't specify you know what 
what would happen in the case that they don't market the product or they you know never make those posts like they were supposed to so that's why I always encourage all of you to have some sort of agreement in place before sending out any product let's see if chat GPT can create those agreements for you now I don't know if they're going to be able to create an agreement considering that's typically something a lawyer would do but I'm going to type in write a brand ambassador agreement with 10% commission I want to specify the commission that will be given on every sale and let's see what it creates Oh wow, it's actually creating a full on agreement just like a lawyer would and all you have to do is fill in like the date and then the names of who should be signing this contract. So it would be yourself and then the brand ambassador. So you will fill in that information. Definitely put in the date on there. But it's breaking it down in all the important categories that you would have in an agreement like the services, the terms, the compensation, which I put 10% in there, the compliance, IP, confidence confidentiality, termination, like this is all the stuff you would have in a true agreement. So this is actually really good. This is perfect. And you just go in and make the adjustments as needed. Oh, wow. And it's even creating the lines where you would sign at. I was thinking we would just have to go add that in the end, but it even did that for you. This is perfect. And all you have to do is really copy and paste this and make the adjustments as needed. Okay. So chat GPT just pretty much turned into our own lawyers. Now, definitely you can go through this and make the adjustments as as needed and put all the information that you need in that agreement I simply put that it was going to be a 10% commission but if there's any other stipulations that you want included you can always edit that in after or you can put that in your description before chat GPT actually creates the agreement for you but that was pretty easy to do and I'm impressed with what they just created for us so since chat GPT can create an entire contract for me let me see if they can create a return policy policy as well, which we'll be going more in depth on return policies and another video is coming up soon. But I want to see what ChatGPT can do for us when it comes to return policies. So for me, I'm going to do a 30 day return policy and see what ChatGPT creates. Now, of course, put in whatever your return policy is, whether it's seven days, 15 days, 30 days, a whole year, you have no return policy at all. Type it in as needed. And I'm going to put on there too, that it must be returned a new condition so I'm not getting used clothing back and let's see what they create Oh, it's creating this one down in bullet points, which would actually make it easier for the customer to read. That's actually a really good idea because a lot of customers will skim through a return policy. And then when you reiterate your return policy, they'll say they didn't know, even though it's on there. This makes it easier for them to find. So now all we have to do is copy and paste again. Okay, they did pretty good on the return policies. I can definitely utilize this and make the changes that I need to make before putting this on my website. But once that's tweaked, this is pretty much a good starting point for me so that way I'm not sitting there trying to look at a blank screen and figure out where do I even start with this this certainly helps out so since they did my return policy let's see if they can do the privacy policy as well the return policy works so let's see if the privacy policy works as well because those are pretty long and boring and no one wants to have to sit there and type that out Okay, so it's doing this one more so in the lines of like the brand ambassador agreement, which is perfect because this is normally how a privacy policy is listed out. It has it in the different sections of how it's like collecting the person's information, protection of your personal information, cookies is in there, your rights, and then any updates to this privacy policy. The contact us is always in there, so this is perfect as well. And then all you will have to do is copy and paste. And just as I thought, they did pretty good on the privacy policy also again make those tweaks as needed I don't put in a specific brand name when I'm typing in that description on chat GPT but you can put your brand name in there so they can throw the brand's name in there as well but since we're on the website and putting in all that information that I would include on my website let me see if they can create the about us page because I notice a lot of you get stumped and trying to describe your own brand now of course you would have to give chat GPT 
ChatGPT some insight on what your brand is about so that they know what type of description they're creating when they create your About Us. But I'm gonna put in something generic and see if they can create an About Us page for me. Now, I didn't get as specific as I probably should have for the About Us because obviously ChatGPT won't know about my brand unless I tell them about my brand. But I just wanted to see what it could create for an About Us. So I just put right in About Us for a women's clothing brand that sells affordable fashion forward clothing based in Los Angeles. Okay, so it started talking about the team. It's talking about the beliefs of the brand. It's talking about the location now because I did put Los Angeles. The company's commitment. So it is doing pretty good. Of course, I didn't specify everything that I would want in there, but that was pretty good. I'm going to try another one and see what they come up with. And since I've done everything with women's thus far, I'm going to actually do something with men's this time. So this time I'm going to say right in about us for an edgy men's clothing brand with affordable pricing selling streetwear clothing. I'm trying to get a little more specific, but I'm creating these brands up in my head as I'm typing. So I am like drawing a blank right now, but you want to be as specific as possible when it comes to your about us because they're trying to describe your brand that they've never seen before. Okay, it's saying that the brand is a reflection of personality and individuality. Talks about the team as well, so it pretty much kind of did the same thing. You would just have to be as specific as possible with the About Us. And again, of course, ChatGPT did not do so bad. It gave me a starting point when it comes to my About Us page. I can copy and paste that and then make those adjustments as needed. Now, of course, if you have keywords that you use to describe your brand, so that way it truly resembles your brand's voice, include that in that description for chat GPT to use those keywords for example I use affordable or fashion forward those type of keywords make sure you throw those in there so chat GPT can be sure to include those in there also pro tip for your SEO, make sure you throw in the keywords that you're using for your SEO so your website can rank higher on Google. Now, there's so much more we can do on a website that ChatGPT can probably help us with, but I'm gonna move on to social media because one of the things that I personally hate doing is writing captions for my pictures. I probably will upload more on social media if I didn't have to deal with captions. So I'm gonna see if ChatGPT can do that for me. I might as well start giving AI all the work that I don't want to do. Let's see what kind of captions ChatGPT can make for me. So I'm sitting here trying to think of a picture in my head right now that I want ChatGPT to describe. Not sure exactly what I want them to describe. Maybe I should actually pull out a picture. But I'm just going to type in an Instagram caption for an image of a clothing model showing a new collection with hashtags because I want them to include the hashtags too and see if they can source the hashtags for me as well. And it's pretty much putting in quotes. So fresh styles, hot off the runway. Our models are rocking the latest threads. It is giving me some ideas. I can start working with this and it has the hashtags in there. Okay, it's giving like Pinterest type of captions here. And I requested for ChatGPT to also include some hashtags, which it did do for me. And it did a few of them, which seems to be the recommendation nowadays. Not using all 30 hashtags on Instagram, but narrowing it down to a few of them. And then at the end, it also also reminded me to use some hashtags which I used the most generic ones but it did give me some hashtags it did give me some caption ideas even if I don't want to use those exact captions I can use that as a starting point point. and since chat GPT is creating captions let's see if it can write an email for me now I don't know how effective this is going to be considering I have to type in what I need chat GPT to create the email on so it might not be worth doing because I might as well just type out the email myself if I have to type out what I need them to type out if you get what I'm trying to say but this might help for those of you that don't know how to word your emails into like a professional manner or if you speak with more slang and not using proper grammar chat GPT can help with those things so I'm gonna see what it can do as far as writing an email for me chat GPT don't disappoint me now we've been doing good so far you've been showing out so this time I'm going to type in write an email 
email letting a customer know that there's a slight one day delay on their order. Those are one of those emails that are hard to type out because you don't want to disappoint the customer. Oh shoot, look at it. They're even putting the dear and then you put in the customer's name. So they're putting out the full email and a template that you can just copy and paste. And they're taking it far. They're not just saying that there's a delay. They're keeping it very professional, letting the customer know that the team is working on it. I like this email. Oh, and they're still going and they even have the closing on there as well. You can just copy and paste this. And that was actually better than I expected. I expected a simple generic email, but chat GPT took it to the next level, kept it very professional and gotten even more information in that email than what I even requested for them to put in the email. That was pretty good and I might be using chat GPT to write out my emails more often now. And since we're on the topic of emails, I'm going to show you one more. Let me just at least give you one more this video and if you guys want more, I'll do a part two. But let me give you one more idea of how you can use chat GPT for your business and that is going to be creating email subject lines. And I'm not referring to those emails like we just did responding to a customer. These are for your email campaigns, creating those catchy email subject lines to get customers to open up your email campaign. Let me see if ChatGPT can give me some ideas on those email subject lines. So sometimes I do need a little inspiration when it comes to my email subject line. So I'm gonna type in a list of email subject ideas for a summer sale of items up to 50% off. I'm gonna specify what the sale is to see if they can really help me create those subject lines. So summer sale alert, up to 50% off. Heat up your summer with our 50% off sale. It's even adding in the punctuation in there just like you would on an email subject line. So that does work. And I'm gonna try that regenerate response button again and see if it'll give me some more ideas. So some of these are similar to what was already there, but it is giving me a few more different ideas, kind of like just switching up the wording. And then if I want to go back to the original list, you can flip back and forth between them. And what do you know, ChatGPT does it yet again. They gave me a list of different email subject lines that I can use. I created a simple idea with the summer cell and they gave me a list of summer cell email subject lines that I can use on there. That was just what I needed because I know sometimes when I'm creating my campaigns, I kind of get stomped on what I want to create for the subject line, especially after doing this for five years. Actually, oh my gosh, y'all, I, I missed my anniversary this year. <laughs> it's already April 24th. I missed my sixth anniversary this year. My business has been now officially in business for six years. I don't know how I missed that. Life just completely took over, obviously, but I missed that. Yeah, so after doing this for now six years, I get stomped in some of the email subjects I can create because because I feel like I'm starting to be repetitive and using the same thing, especially when you're sending emails all the time. So that truly did help out. So I'm gonna stop there for this video and all the ideas I'm giving you guys and ways you can use ChatGPT to start and run your online business. Now I'm sure there's so many more ideas and I'm sure the more I play with this, the more I'm gonna come up with different ideas. So if you guys like this video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you guys want a part two, three, four, how however many parts you need, I definitely make sure to keep sharing my ideas with you guys on how I'm using the different AI softwares to run my business because it's popping up more and more and AI is really creative and the things that these softwares can do for us. That's it for this week's video. Thank you guys for watching.